Welcome to the Electrotech Stage 1 Video Manual. In this playlist, we'll break down all of Stage 1's features and cover both its wireless and wired connectivity so you can get the most out of this incredibly versatile and powerful wireless speaker. In this first video, we'll give you an overview of the main features of Stage 1 and talk about the hardware, batteries, and other physical characteristics. Stage 1 is made in the USA. Each and every speaker is hand-built by Electrotech in Southern California. Stage 1's cabinet is constructed with high-grade 6-ply birch and poplar that is pneumatically compressed and coated with phenolic epoxy resin, which makes it durable, weatherproof, environmentally safe, and recyclable. Rubber bumpers are on all eight corners to keep the speaker cabinet from making direct contact with surfaces for safe storage in any orientation. The bumpers also interlock so you can stack two stage ones on top of each other. There are ergonomic handles on both sides of the speaker for easy transport. And on the bottom of the speaker is a one and three eighths inch speaker pull socket so you can mount the speaker on a speaker stand or mount it on top of a subwoofer with a speaker pole. If you're unboxing your Stage 1 for the first time, the batteries are shipped upside down on purpose. Make sure you pull these out, flip them over, and reinsert them with the LED stack button and charging port at the bottom of the battery bay. You can tap the button on each battery to check your battery life. Stage 1 has the longest battery life of any wireless speaker of its size due to its dual hot swappable battery bays. With both batteries inserted and fully charged, you can expect 120 hours of battery life at 55% volume and 20 hours of battery life at max volume. Because the batteries are hot swappable, you can pull one battery out while the speaker is playing and it'll automatically switch over to the other battery without any interruption in your audio signal. If a battery loses all of its power, it will automatically switch over to the second battery bay. The battery LEDs will show you which battery bay is currently being used. You can also double tap the power button to switch between the two battery bays so you don't have to pull out the battery in order to switch over to another battery bay. The batteries can be charged with the included 26 volt charging adapter and can even be charged while the speaker is in use. On the front, you'll see that Stage 1 uses a three-way configuration with Pro Neodymium drivers, a 10-inch bass driver, an 8-inch mid-range driver, and a 1-inch compression horn tweeter. The speaker has a frequency response of 28 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Stage 1's design combines a total of 320 watts RMS power through its three-way system. Amplification is handled by two Maris MA12070P chips, providing 60 watts per channel, and a Maris MA5302 chip that powers the woofer channel with 200 watts RMS. All of this power is packed into a 40-pound cabinet that is 25.5 inches tall, 15 inches in width, and 14 inches deep. In terms of input options, the Stage 1 speaker supports Bluetooth 5.3 LE for wireless pairing to your phone or other device. In aux mode, you can use the 3.5 millimeter stereo input or connect any USB-C device for input. This will simultaneously charge your device. And you can even load all of your favorite songs as MP3s on a thumb drive and plug into the USB-A input. There's a dedicated playback button for MP3 input. Stage 1 also includes SCA wireless, so in SCA mode, it can function as a SCA receiver and can bond to any SCA transmitter, including SCA mini transmitters like Cassandra for USB-C, Ursula for USB-A, or if you're using it for pro audio applications, you can use the Dillinger Labs Danny SCA Pro transmitter, which allows you to hook up a DJ deck, mixer, or other pro audio equipment. With SCA Wireless, you can bond up to four Stage 1s to any SCA transmitter and get 36 milliseconds of fixed latency, so all of your Stage 1s will play back audio at precisely the same time. And it also supports SCA Pro if you need to get that latency down to 19 milliseconds for live music applications. When using a SCA Pro transmitter like Danny, Stage 1 has a 50 meter reliable range. That's around 164 feet. This is a great option when you need a rock solid wireless connection for pro audio or long range applications. And Stage 1's Bluetooth range is quite impressive as well with a 46 meter or 150 foot range. Although with Bluetooth, the range is going to be heavily dependent on the device you are playing audio from. 
Stage one also supports SCA wireless audio networking. This is great if you don't have a SCA transmitter, but you still wanna set up multiple speakers. The networking features allow you to feed a single stage one over Bluetooth, this is called the hub speaker. And then that hub speaker will relay wireless audio to up to four additional satellite speakers using SCAL Wireless. So this allows you to use up to five total stage one speakers all simultaneously. Play all mode allows you to simultaneously play audio from a Bluetooth source, a SCA transmitter, the auxiliary inputs, and the wired pro audio inputs. All of these sources can be mixed together in play all mode. This is great for karaoke, where you might want to use a ska microphone like Valerie, or plug in a wired mic and mix the vocals with a Bluetooth source playing a backing track. The wired pro audio inputs will work in aux mode or in play all mode. These include two dual XLR or quarter inch jacks for plugging in microphones or a line level source like a DJ deck or mixer. Input 1 has an instrument level input switch, so you can plug in an electric guitar or bass, or an acoustic electric guitar. If you're a live solo artist, this is great because you can set up your mic and instrument input on the same speaker with no need for a separate mixer. And you can even use wireless audio networking in aux mode to relay audio from one stage one over to a second stage one. This makes running your own sound at gigs super easy and reduces cable clutter. You can change the audio routing on each stage one to play the left channel only, the right channel only, or mono, which sums both the left and right channels together. If you're only using a single speaker, it's best to work in mono, and if you have two stage ones, you can use this to set up a stereo pair. It has XLR stereo line outputs. These output a balanced plus four dBU line level signal. You can use these outputs to feed audio over to another wired speaker or subwoofer or to get a stereo recording feed of your performance. And the outputs can also be toggled to play in mono as well. And there's an additional 3.5 millimeter stereo aux output jack that outputs an additional negative 10 dBV unbalanced line level signal. So that's an overview of all of Stage 1's features. Continue on through the rest of this playlist and subscribe to the Ska Sound YouTube channel to learn more about how to use each of these features and how to get the most out of your Stage 1 speaker. To learn more about Ska and all of our Ska transmitters and receivers, head over to Ska.com or SkaStore.com. To learn more about Stage 1 and Electrotech, head over to ElectrotechAudio.com. Thanks for watching.